Hi there! Hello everybody, what's going on here? It's me and today I'm gonna talk about a top 10 dishes from Russia. What can you try today or maybe not today if you will be in Russia or maybe if you have it in your country. Let's jump in. I prepared some of these slides special for you. It will you will have crazy dependence after tasting it. I, I have to say it is... Uh, I'm native Russian and uh, I promise you, yes, you will like it. First of all is eggs kasha. Do you know what it is? It's yummy chop your intestine by great taste. Yummy chop. Chop is like uh, you have eggs and your intestine by great taste. With... Uh, we will feel really fooled and you will increase your mindset, heart set and other things. What is it? It is uh, porridge. Porridge with other things. Why it's axkash? Because we have axkasha. Axkasha of... Uh, we have some of the story about it. Children story for... Yes, story for children. And uh, this story about how uh, one soldier prepared uh, this axkasha for uh, one of the babushka, babushka or grand grandma. Yes, and um, it was an interesting story that uh, he did some of the other things only with one axe. Yes, okay, it's name of it. Next, uh, dressed he herring. Dressed herring. Did you see herring dressed in, in beet coat? Beet, purple coat, violet, uh, not uh, forget name, uh, or how to say it, not forgot me, not forgot me, <laughs> beet colored coat, yes, and uh, it is here, dressed herring. It is fish, what you can find in Russia. It looks not really like uh, something tasty, but taste, oh my gosh, it's so amazing. I really like to buy it in my mall near my dorm. I'm dormitory student and uh, I have mall near and I'm uh, going to the mall. I, I go to I go to mall daily and uh, maybe one day of five days I I'm buying it. Yes. Kissel. <laughs> Do you know it's uh, our uh, drinking cum shot. <laughs> no need to stop this video. I will uh, <laughs> I will describe what I mean with it. Russian house elf for production slime. Yes, we have um, R Russian house elf. Russian house elf is domovoy, if you will translate it. And uh, reproduction slime of this, uh, it is uh, our uh, thing, our watering thing, our uh, fruitable, juiceable things called kisiel. You can see this, it's um, slimy, slimy things and so uh, like uh, not water. It is, it looks like a do you know for children some interesting toy toy then you can uh, that you can to do like actions with it or maybe it's like a mm, pa -pa 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 -pam. we t -t 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 i forget what's name of it uh, fo fall no okay it is uh, really really slimy and uh, you can do some of the maybe expandering exercises if you will taste it. It's so powerful. And uh, on this picture you can see some of the house elf. Yes, domovoy. Kuzia. <laughs> Next is uh, Navy Seal pasta. Navy Seal uh, macarons. Uh, Macaron Pavlotsky, if you will translate it, uh, is... Uh, are you sure? <laughs> are you really sure that you are Navy Seal? Do you know that Navy Seal is a person who inside of army, yes, in army, and uh, should be so powerful and with uh, big the biggest energy if you will taste it if you will taste this uh, dish you will really oh my gosh it's so amazing it is really interesting to prepare this food really easy by the way you will prepare it maybe for uh, 15 minutes, you can uh, google some of the recipe or e 
whether you can find you can find uh, you can find this uh, recipe in the internet and uh, else I can create video about it how to create it yes next yes it is I forget what's name of it is D dumb gels uh, like a dumb del dumb Dumbbell. Dumbbell is a lifting exercising thing, but it is uh, some of the for your maturity, for your mentality thing. It is uh, your uh, fingers are walking when you <laughs> when you do this. Is pilmeni. Do you know pilmeni is some of the food for your um, stomach when you are really how to say it, when you really eat it and feel some of the meat inside of yourself and uh, this, uh, I don't know what's name of it, is our shell, shell of the pilmeni, I forget what's name of it. Preparation really easy and sometimes Russians uh, use it, uh, uh, Russians preparing it, are preparing it, uh, Russians prepare it in uh, in winter because we have uh, froze frozen things uh, outside of our house on the balcony and you can use uh, your pilmeni to go <laughs> to place it on the balcony and uh, after that you will have nature not fridge not refrigerator refrigerator taste yes understand why right now because it's nature cold nature frozen and uh, my cooking speed is 200 pelmeni per hour do you have something more if you have please leave in the comment section next vinaigrette and no vinegar <laughs> it's uh, i thought that it will be nice um, how to say it is recommendation or advertisement and no vinegar yes it is uh, our uh, things like a beet here you can find carrot uh, potatoes uh, some of the uh, beans uh, i don't know what's name of it is beans green beans and uh, other th other ingredients what you prefer to use also oil don't forget about it uh, and no vinegar yes i understand i really like to buy it too maybe one day of three every every third day i eat this Thing. Next, it is uh, some of the your child is alcoholic because he drinks kvass filled with frolic is some of the rhyming skills we created and uh, you can see uh, it is joking by the way it's memes on the left uh, side but sometimes you can find uh, yeah it's uh, not uh, kvass it's beer beer uh, on the hands of these children but um, <laughs> Sometimes, uh, yeah, really, kvass feel uh, have some of the volume of uh, alcohol is uh, from 0 0.5 to 2.5. It depends on your uh, management of preparation, of your skills of preparation of it. How how do you do this? How what technique do? What kind of techniques do you use? What kind of <laughs> methods so what kind of uh, other preparation things uh, do you prefer to use it all depends on it yes and uh, i was googling what uh, google i was googling what is frolic frolic is uh, some of the mood of happiness of the when you are uh, like uh, yeah all is nice i feel i can feel i can fly and uh, also frolic it is some of the feed for dogs and uh, <laughs> i thought that it will be a nice joke next thing is uh, cottage cheese uh, cottage cheese uh, grilled cottage cheese in russia is sirniki if you will see this it's without che cheese it's with cottage cheese cottage cheese is milk product and uh, if you like to be near hockey uh, to be near uh, uh, hockey players uh, you can find hockey washer hockey washer is uh, this uh, thing this round ball this uh, circle 
shaped thing and you can find it a hockey washer for breakfast uh, for each family who are watching me thanks so much and uh, you can uh, try to do this too i really like it it's top list of the my really my own list it's not uh, i was googling what's uh, russian uh, food and because uh, maybe it's not russian and uh, I was googling and it is really my favorite food what uh, do I like uh, this top 10 list else uh, other but this top 10 right now in this time uh, what what uh, day is today today is uh, t -t of March 15th okay next if you are prisoner if you are in jail if you are sauna user if you are a sauna user or a prisoner you can find sushki sushki is a thing like a tea bread if you have some of the tea bread you will uh, you will have more interesting feelings you will feel wonderful after after eating it and uh, your uh, people around you will see like you are nice you are king of the prison prison and uh, if you have sushki in the prison or jail you will uh, be like a papa yeah let's next it will be the next last yes last but not at least Baradinsky chleb or Baradinsky bread a buckshot taste and smell yes uh, do you know what is out on the on the top of it above of it? It is our um, I don't know what is what's name in, name of it in your language, but in Russian it's called uh, it called uh, tmin, and uh, it is not rosemary. It is uh, maybe it's a ro rosemary, maybe not. But I call called it a buckshot. Buckshot like a, you have a big buckshot inside of your uh, bullet bullets uh, part of bullets, and uh, on this side. And why it called? Why did it call Baradinsky chleb, Baradinsky bread? Because uh, in the war of the what, no, 18, 12th, it was uh, like a really a buck shot and uh, <laughs> how to say it and uh, it was on the battle of Bardino. do you know what is yes and uh, battle of Bardino when f we have france yeah napoleon uh, bonaparte and one or more uh, marshal kutuzov and uh, we have th some of the battling of it and uh, Baradinsky chleb means uh, Baradinsky bread here. Yes, uh, inside of this bottle was created because we have buckshot to the pff, to the our bread. Yes, and it was our uh, list of dependence of the our uh, opportunities. Yes, a list of our ingredients, what uh, of our dishes you can taste it daily and uh, every moment of your life if you want. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope. Uh, that it was uh, helpful for you please uh, write in the comment section what do you think about this format do you like it do you prefer it and because uh, i created these lights and uh, th these lights it's not uh, for uh, really short uh, term uh, short term timing it was uh, for uh, 30 35 minutes uh, it is i think better than nothing but what do you think about what do you maybe prefer in the next videos uh, to know or maybe to what kind of form do you prefer rubric or uh, how to how to inform you how to <laughs> how to bring information to you thanks so much for watching again see you next time and uh, don't forget that you can be great yes uh, it's uh, rhyming skills uh, great it's not like greater uh, thing uh, great is uh, yes you are amazing and uh, hello by the way lucy angel stephanie michelle mario whale norlella uh, one more man from India, I remember Dude, his name, he was inspired by my videos about uh, ropes, jumpy ropes, or something like this. And uh, other people around us, 
thanks so much. See you next time. Yes, Malaysia, Indonesia, Terry Makasih Baniak, and uh, our uh, Japanese, yeah, Arigato. Thanks so much. Uh, Danke for our uh, Germany. Yes, Luis, hello, and uh, happy bus. Uh, merci for you, special, and uh, thanks a lot for everybody. Graces, by the way. Bye bye.